Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Delaware, and uh, I don't really, I don't know what the deal is with Delaware. Uh, like most Americans, m the, the entirety of my knowledge is that Delaware was the first state, but I also don't really know what that means because there were 13 original states, so I don't know how one could be first. Um, so this will be both a review of rich people interior design and a learning journey about Delaware. Uh, right away, we could see that there's ocean in Delaware. We've got an oceanfront property. This is significantly less expensive than the castle in Connecticut we were just looking at. This is just under seven million. Only five bedrooms, six baths, only 3,400 square feet. So not, even for a low price tag, relatively small property. Let's see what, what gems it has in store for us. All right, here's another view of the house from the outside. It looks, it, it looks small too. It kind of just looks like a normal house from outside. All right, we see it's surrounded by other normal houses. It's got this clapboard siding, sh shingle, shaker shingles. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what textures we can choose in The Sims. Uh, that's, that's the architectural expertise that you can count on here. All right, we got it's three stories in this section at least. This is, oh, that's the backyard. So lots of greenery here in the backyard. A beautiful sea of pavement and this sad little grill with no patio furniture to accompany it. Um, all right, let's, let's head inside. Oh, nice brick stairs. All right, that's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. And we are inside. Um, let's, let's start with some positives here. The ceiling. The ceiling is beautiful. The, the exposed rafters. This is a really nice wood. Uh, nice wood floor. Nothing fancy, but just a generally nice wood floor. Um, other than that, I'm... I, I gotta say it. I gotta say it. This just looks like a normal house. Like, a kind of nice one, but it's... This doesn't scream seven million dollars to me. You know, like these... That's hotel art. Um, this is someone's grandma's furniture. That fireplace is mediocre at best. Um, the rug is nice, I guess, but overall impression here, this is just someone's Nana's kind of nice house. I'm not getting, I'm not getting the price tag in this room. Let's see if we've got some, uh, some other rooms to, to pick up the slack. Oh, here's, here's another view of this room, uh, a crab so that we know we're on the coast. Uh, look how shitty this old cracked leather chair is. Replace it. You know, when people are selling houses this expensive, they actually hire services to come in and like furnish the, like they've already moved out and they will hire someone to come in and furnish the house so that you could see what it looks like lived in. They just left their old, like rather, they, they could have pulled that out and just rented a nicer chair. They could have done that. They didn't. Um... Another view, we can see a dining room through here that I'm not feeling particularly optimistic about. Um, we haven't even managed to match the chairs. We've got mismatched chairs at the table. Again, the ceiling is beautiful. And that's a nice rug. And I just, I cannot imagine this house being worth seven, like... Is the location that good? Is the beach in Delaware that good? I don't know. I don't care for the ocean personally. I've I've said before I'm a Midwesterner. Uh, the ocean makes me nervous. 
I think it's full of monsters. I don't trust it. I don't want to go in it. I would not pay $7 million to live in an okay house next to a monster infested ocean. Personally, that's my personal take there. This is so, no. this, this is just, it's nice. It's nice. It's, uh, my dear, this isn't even like the correct amount of chairs. Is this like they've only got two chairs on this side and three on? My God, you're doing a photo shoot. You're obviously paying some money for someone to do this. You're expecting to get $7 million for the house. Get it together, people. I get it. I get it. It's a boring dining room. It's a really boring dining room. This kitchen. Oh my God. I'm, I'm dreading this kitchen. Let's. All right. We're gritting our teeth. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a normal kitchen. It's just a normal kitchen. Um, where's, okay, the oven's somewhere else. We got a, a standalone stove top. I mean, they're nice counters. They are. They're nice counters. Um, I like that plant. The, they're just, the sink is nice. It's, it's all just nice. Um, can lights in the ceiling, you know, everyone, everyone did it. You know what, in here, you're not spending money on anything else. You, you could afford to fix the fucking can lights in the ceiling. You got a, oh, oh, they splurged for a bowl of lemons. This isn't even a full-size dishwasher here. There's so many cabinets. There's so many cabinets. You could have, you could have moved some things around and made a full-size dishwasher. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I have that same microwave. This is baffling to me. Um, okay, okay. We're just uh, the tile. The tile's very. I'm. I'm so searching. I'm. This is the first house where I'm like searching for nice things to say about it, instead of just trashing every little detail. This is so underwhelming. Is this Delaware? Is the is that Delaware's thing? Is the entire state just grossly underwhelming in every way? That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Oh, <gasps> the first sign of real rich people behavior. It's a hidden refrigerator. The refrigerator can't look like a refrigerator. That's for the pores. Poor people have refrigerators that look like refrigerators. If you're rich, you can't let them know you eat. It's got to be a secret. So we've got a, a refrigerator camouflaged like an octopus to look like cabinets. Uh, okay, they've got a single rich person point for them here. Uh, oh, we found the ovens. All right, we got stacked ovens. That's pretty nice. Uh, the tile going through here is tile i guess eh, it's fine it's fine it's fine. again the mismatch i guess at least they've got you know two and two on the chairs but they're mismatched um like not even the same they've got padding here and wicker here that window's nice i guess um is that a seven million dollar chandelier or light fixture i don't i don't think so Again, this is just someone's grandma's beach house. Is that, is, maybe that's it. Maybe this is just someone's beach house. But do you really pay $7 million for a beach house and it's this? And it's in Delaware? If, you, if, if you're going to buy a beach house, go somewhere nice. Delaware, apparently, not nice. Not that nice. We've got a second seating area that is jankier than the first, Again, mismatched chairs. Uh, this is a desk or side table that has been reappropriated as some sort of breakfast nook, I guess. But it's clearly a side table because there's drawers here. Um, it's really, that's a cool little detail on the floor there. Given points. And also now, but at this point, the ceiling is this the same pale sea, like pale wood as the walls. So now you're just in this wood box, this pale wood box. Um, everything's very beige. It's just, it's just giving, it's giving grandma's house. 
It is. It's giving major grandma's house vibes. This, oh God, this is the most grandma of them all with the, the wicker furniture. Is that blue leopard print? Oh my God, that is blue leopard print. Out, this is outdoor furniture and it's in an indoor space. Like these, I think, are all waterproof furniture that's meant to go on a patio outdoors so it can get rained on and it dries off quickly. And it's blue leopard print. It's on multiple pieces of furniture. Dear God, what is happening? This... Okay, we've got different blue outdoor furniture in an in again still still an indoor space and we're using the waterproof outdoor furniture maybe this is maybe this is why there was no patio furniture around that grill maybe they were like oh shit we need to furnish this house and instead of you know paying to have the house furnished for pictures they just took all of the outside furniture and put it inside um there's there's a theory about this space, I guess. Oh, this is all right, all right, you know what? No, nope. here is the second the second hint of rich people behavior that we've picked up. A room so big you have to have two separate sitting areas immediately adjacent to each other because the room just doesn't make sense otherwise. It's just it's too much floor space and you don't have enough shit to put in it. And you put all outdoor furniture in it. All right, there's another view of it. There's another view of it. And yet again, dear God. All right, we're back inside. We're back in this living room, the first underwhelming living room. All right, you know what? The stairs, this this feature on the stairs, kind of cool. I don't know what that is. That like a metal inset. That's a detail. That's kind of a cool detail there. Um, yeah, underwhelming. Is I don't know what this chair, what that chair is facing. Um, it's that chair is giving me like cat staring at the ghost in the corner vibes. Um, all right, we're outside. No, there is there is outdoor furniture. So they do know what outdoor furniture is, and they just chose to put some inside. Uh, that's just how they're choosing to live their lives. Chewy knife hand. Very subtle. It's it's subtle, but, uh, I, you know, I looked for it and I saw it. They did chewy knife hand these pillows here just a little bit. Uh, that's probably the most professional setting, uh, photo op settings that I've seen here. Um, there's another angle of that. It's... It, it's a nice looking house from that like rustic seaboard, you know, I, I'm nor uh, is, did they get nor'easters up here? Is that a thing? I, I, I'm picturing like a lobster boat and a, an old Ahab type man with a beard saying the word nor'easter. Is that the vibe here? Um, I get seven million dollars. For this house, that's, boy, 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 oh boy, um, this house, this room is, uh, well, you got a TV in the bedroom, of course, because what's sleep hygiene? People don't know. People don't know about sleep hygiene. Um, there's, there is a sitting area because again, the room is too big. So you need to you need to have a mini living room and there's this seems to be a desk over here. So it's a full hotel room that someone's supposed to have as their actual bedroom. But again, you know, this might be someone's beach house, who knows. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm I'm just trying to invent things to comfort myself. That couch is so shitty. Like, it's fine. Like, it's fine. like if a normal person had that couch in their house, I would not think anything of it. But I'm going into literally the most expensive house on the market in 
the entire state of Delaware, which is granted very small. And it's got this shitty fucking couch in there. Look at that. That's like a, that's not even upholstery, I don't think. I think that's just a slip cover. I think that's just a shitty slight striped slip. That's like the least expensive couch you can get in The Sims. That's that's the one that you buy when you're actually following the rules and not using cheat codes and your sim is miserable and pees itself every two days. Oh, God. You know what? This is a nice bathroom. All right. Thank God we have a nice bathroom with a big, big old bathtub and a big old shower. All right. This, this is making sense to me. This is, this, it all checks out here. And we're back. We're back to Grandma's house. We got this weird wicker furniture because all the indoor furniture is actually outdoor furniture. Um, is this... I assume that this is like this because normally there's an ugly nest of cords running straight down this wall to plug that mounted TV in. Uh, and they thought that it would look less bad if they just bunched it all up. Um, this, the wood, again, it's, it's, this wood detail would be really cool in the ceiling if they had done something else with the walls. And it would be, like, all right on the walls if they were doing something else with the ceiling. I think the way to go would be on the ceiling, because this, this directionality here in this little gable, that's kind of cool. Um, the, the double, it's, it's hotel -y. You know, like this is a hotel room with the, it's a double queen room. Um, yeah. All right, we got, look at that shitty ass shower. Look at, like that is the shower door that every plebeian peasant in the universe has on their shower. You know what? We, we don't go to $7 million homes to see the same shower door that everyone has in their house. That is just ah, seven million dollar house. And look at this tacky seashell motif around the mirror. That's a choice. Um oh dear God. Alright, here's this is I guess where the grandkids stay. Um you got some fun, bright furniture, I guess, with the blue. Again, I would just do the wood on the ceiling and then do something else on these walls so it's a little less trapped in a box-like. Um, really, really leaning into these seaside motifs between the, the sailboats and this little lamp. Do you see this? It's filled with seashells, I think. Um, we get it. You're by the ocean. I'm, you can hear it out the window. I don't think you need the lamp to tell you you're by the ocean. Uh, we, we've got another old lady slip cover, cheap Sims chair just chilling here in the, in the landing to the second floor. Again, you're still, you're still in this box. This is apparently blocking off a closet. So you have to move this dresser out anytime you want to get out of that closet. It's probably where they keep, like, a Christmas tree. I don't know. Another shitty every, like, like, they make nicer shower doors. They do. They make really nice, fancy shower doors just for rich people. But you got this one that every, this is, this is the standard shower door at the Home Depot. That's the one you went with. Okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, we got the nice, we got the nice ceiling in here. Um, now that I'm seeing it in a smaller room, I don't know that it matches this lighter paneling. And I don't know how I feel about this paneling going through the entire house. Um, I guess, I mean, this, the room's fine. I guess. It's nice it has a balcony. Another fine bathroom with a shitty shower door from Home Depot. Um, and these very generic, 
pottery barn pictures of one piece swimsuits. Okay. Okay. Another room. Like, this this has got to be like an Airbnb or something like that cuz I mean the the three beds to one room with the bunk beds and it's it's just giving very hotel-esque vibes. They went with the darker stain on the wall in here which has given it a a sterner box look. I believe that it's a giant picture of a fish. Uh, in case, did you know, this house is on the ocean. Um, really, they just decided on this style of shower door and they just went with it. You know what? You could have put up curtains. You could have taken this out, put a curtain rod across, and just got, like had some fun picking out like fun curtains like this is a very white bland bathroom and you got some fun stuff on the wall here sure but you could add a really fun shower curtain and you could change it up whenever you want but you went with this ugly ass shower door all right there's the beach that's a nice beach you know is is it a seven million dollar beach maybe I don't know what a beach goes for in Delaware. Maybe that's the entire value of the property. Maybe that's why this is a shitty fucking house, but it's on like a bougie ass beach. That that could be. I also know that it's a beach in Delaware, which I might not know that much about, but I know it's northish. I know it's going to be cold a lot of the year, and it's the ocean, so it doesn't warm up particularly fast in the spring. Um, and again, there's definitely monsters in there, so I wouldn't go in it, personally. Um, there it is from the street. Look, I mean, just, that needs some attention. This retaining wall. Just, I mean, power wash it and stain it. It looks decrepit. This is a seven million dollar house. Put a little pride in it. Dear guys, okay. So what we've learned about Delaware is that it is an underwhelming state on the ocean um, and that people's grandmas live there and the people that live on the ocean are very into the fact that they're on the ocean. Um, that's, that is now my impression of the state of Delaware and I will not be changing it anytime soon. If you're from Delaware, feel free to uh, become righteously indignant in the comments. I would love to see that. Uh, and otherwise, you know, if I missed anything, feel free to let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And other than that, have a good one.